Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time since I've made a video and I do apologize for that. There's been a lot of stuff going on in my life and one of those is actually this girl right here. This is Luna. She's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie, but she's kind of a handful. Today we're gonna be painting Mario from the Mario movie. I hear that this movie is pretty awesome, so if you haven't already and you own a 3D printer, I highly suggest subscribing to 3D Wicked on Patreon. This guy gives you a ton of STLs only for $10 a month, super cheap, and these are super high quality. So go check them out, I'll leave the link in the description. To start off, we're going to paint everything black. Now, the reason I do this is to hide some of the brush strokes on that transparent colors that we usually like to paint. And since Mario is going to be using a lot of red, uh, that's a very transparent color, so black is going to be our best friend here. Once you've painted everything black, it's time to mix up some dark red. Take some red and some black, mix it together. You should get something around this type of pigment here. Go ahead and paint a base coat all over the cap, and then you can come back with red and just a little bit of white. You don't want pink, you don't want like pale pink or anything like that. Add just a little bit of white to your red, and then come back and do some dry brushing. Now, as I said earlier about these 3D prints, they're extremely detailed, so the thread marks are going to be very noticeable when you do that dry brushing over the top, making your piece look way better than it really should. Don't forget here to paint perpendicular to the wrinkles. If you paint parallel to the wrinkles, when dry brushing, you're going to get down in those cracks and it's not going to look as good. You really want to capture those high points, so make sure that when you're dry brushing, you paint perpendicular to the wrinkles to make them stand out a little bit more. Next up, we're going to be painting the white on the logo. You don't want like straight up white, that's going to be far too bright, so just kind of dull that white down a little bit with a little bit of black. Make a very light gray, and then go ahead and paint in the white part of that logo. Don't be scared if you get over the marks a little bit, because we're going to come around and make a black circle around the white area um, on that logo. So Once you're done with the cap, you should get something looking like this. I'm a little bit upset that we don't have Cappy from Mario Odyssey. Such a great game, um, but having Cappy would have been so cool, I think, on top of his head. Granted, this is a Mario movie model, so no shame thrown at 3D Wicked. They did a phenomenal job. Next up is the skin tones. Uh, when doing the skin tones, you're going to mix brown and red together. Uh, you can also mix in a little bit of yellow. In hindsight, I probably wish I had mixed in a little bit of yellow, um, but you're going to mix up that skin tone, get something looking similar to this, and go ahead and paint over Mario's face. Now before it starts holding its pigment, it's going to take about two to three coats. So take your time with it, don't rush it, make sure that you're staying within the lines, and uh, just have fun. Now once your Mario starts looking a little bit like a demon, it's time to paint his hair. To do that, we just take a little bit of brown and a little bit of black, and we mix that together to make a dark brown. We paint that all over the hair, so eyebrows, eyelashes, mustache, and the hair on the back of his head. Paint all of that with a base coat, then come back with your regular nutmeg brown and dry brush perpendicular to the hair follicles, and you should get something looking like this. I'm actually pretty stoked as to how this mustache turned out. Uh, looks very much realistic, and not a lot of work got put into it for how good it looks, so that's always a good sign. Next up, it's time to paint the whites in his eyes. To do this, we're going to make that light gray, just like we did earlier and we're going to be able to paint the whites in his eyes stay within the lines but if you if you get a little bit outside the lines it's not not the end of the world we'll be able to fix it by going over it mario has blue eyes so we're going to come back with a just a regular blue paint the entire base coat of his eyes in blue and then we're going to come back mix some white and blue together and then we're going to kind of create these little small lines um, from a certain point just to kind of give that outer ring a little bit darker in an eye. If you actually look at an eye, a lot of times the iris of the eye is uh, has a darker ring around it. That's essentially the idea behind what we're trying to create. Next up are the pupils. Now the pupil is going to be kind of difficult to see, um, but just do your best to be able to paint exactly where the designer had it. And then we're going to come back and put two white spots of glare. Now you want to try to make this as symmetric as possible for each eye. Um, I think I've said this previously, but eyes are the most important part of the face. If everything else looks great on the face except for the eyes, it can really bring down the quality of the entire piece. Now add a little bit of varnish to the eyes and you should get something looking like this. Gotta say, he's looking pretty great. Next up is the body. 
Um, of course, with the red, we're going to apply the same techniques that we did on the cap to the arms, uh, that kind of undershirt that he has underneath his overalls. So just rinse and repeat on that technique and you should be sitting pretty good. Next up, it is time for the overalls. To do this, we're going to mix some blue and black together to make dark blue. And we're going to paint over all of the overalls. Uh, this should be pretty easy. Get that base coat down. And then when you come back, you're going to grab just regular blue and white. Just a little bit of white. You don't want very much white at all because you, all you're really wanting to do is create a little bit of contrast. Uh, if you add too much white, you're going to kind of gray out that blue. And uh, his overalls will look just kind of lackluster so go ahead mix a little bit of white into that blue and then dry brush perpendicular to the wrinkles and i gotta say with the detail that wicked 3d put in these overalls these jeans will look perfect when you're done next up is time to paint the gloves these are really easy just make a light gray and then come back with white to do a dry brush over the base coat of that light gray super simple super easy they look great you got this for the pipe wrench we're actually using somewhat of a similar technique to the cap as far as the reds go but you're going to come back in with some silver and you're going to paint some weathering across the silver um, if you're unfamiliar with the weathering uh, check out the halo video i go over weathering and some pretty good detail there now for his pants, you're going to paint these the same way that you did with the first part of the overalls. Dark blue as a base coat and then come back with the blue with the very little white paint to do the dry brush right over the top. You just get something looking pretty great and then it's on to the shoes. With the shoes, we're kind of using the same technique that we did on the hair. Mix that dark brown together with black and brown, cover the entire shoe and then take the nutmeg brown and do a dry brushing right over the top of that. Then, to paint the laces, all we're going to do is mix brown and yellow together, and you should get something looking kind of mustardy, and then just paint right over the laces with that, and your piece is looking pretty great. Now, as far as the button goes on the, his overalls, as well as the two rivets on each side of the jeans, make sure that you take a little bit of gold paint, and you're going to go right over those. No mixing of any colors needed. Uh, just go right over those with the gold paint, and they should be looking pretty great. They add that little bit of detail. Now it's time to glue everything together, sit back, look at your Mario, admire the design that 3D Wicked has put together, and if you're feeling up for it, give it to a friend. Anyways guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did and you found it helpful, please like and subscribe to the video, it helps out my channel a lot, and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.